if you tape yourself having sex and then you see yourself, you're like, I thought I was killing it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, you know, you really did have to be there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have a great guest today. We sure do. A guest from Madison, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. uh, very, very funny friend, comedian that he's been on uh, the show uh, Maniac on Netflix, right? You play yeah. the role of Phil. Credit after credit after credit. Uh, and uh, been on Ridiculousness. He's been on uh, uh But MTV. also, uh, probably what you're most proud of is probably numerous stand-up albums and numerous stand-up. Like, and tours with Bill Burr yeah. as well. Uh, yeah. Yes, at, y as stand-ups. Well, we haven't introduced you yet. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah, let's say it. Stand by <laughs> <laughs> until we introduce you. Nice. you. <laughs> Welcome, Nate. <laughs> Nate Craig, everybody. Nate Craig. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's Ooh, your camera right there. Thank that's you. your camera. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for having me, fellas. Thanks for coming. Thanks oh, you for were coming, saying, man. oh, were you, sorry, we, I cut you off. Well, just to, just, to, just to wrap up a couple of those uh, details, yes, t there's not many direct flights to Madison. I have to take two flights. Just right. to stay on, on topic. So why you stop at Mil Chicago? Usually M Minnesota, Minneapolis. Oh, uh, MSP. The, yeah. Transfer in Minneapolis. It's a tough area. Like even last time I went to Milwaukee, we had to drive. I think from Chicago, maybe. Is, yeah. Yeah. It's like wow, it's not yeah. easy to get around that yeah, little part yeah, of the, America. The, the, even the biggest cities in Wisconsin are, are uh, s you know, not the biggest markets. Yeah. Um, I can get to Milwaukee direct, but uh, usually Madison's a connector. And then, um, and then, yeah, yeah, a couple albums that uh, I'm I did myself, which you guys are have done yourselves, and that's uh, yeah. those are my. And that, but then now you're gonna have one one that you're gonna do with uh, somebody else, right? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully this this uh, this one. Oh, and it's a special, not an album. Special. Well, I mean, I always say, I always say, you got to get to do both. Yeah, do both. We, we were talking about earlier. You, you got to do both. Like you yeah, can, you, you can release to. the same special five times. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and and so I was, you know, I was getting the hard pitch from somebody who was like, you know, it's like everybody's set up to do specials now, and everybody wants to gobble up the rights to like your album or your special mm -hmm. or whatever, and yeah, and. Uh, and I was just getting the the hard the hard pitch from it, and 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 he was like, "So when are you gonna do it?" And I was like, "Well, you know, we're gonna tape at the end of the spring, but I'm not sure if I want to release um, an album in the summer." And and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, that's not a good idea." And I was like, "But I mean, I I could just then in September I could just be like, I just released it today." Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you don't. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, none yeah, of it matters. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's you're you're brand new to anybody who hasn't heard of you. Of course, oh, yeah. yeah. That's what thing is funny because we go like, oh, I have to new material. Is like if people haven't heard from you, all of it is new material for them. You could yeah. be yeah. doing the the same thing that you did when you were starting, or like, and yeah. for them it's gonna be like, oh, that's great. You're, you know? Yeah, you're on your own clock. It's always weird when somebody says that, like, oh, I don't know if I can do that bit. I did it on an obscure television show <laughs> in Sweden or something. Yeah. Like, dude, yeah, dude, I mean, you. Like, you can still do it. It's, uh, it's we'll okay. He we'll hear it again <laughs> for the first time. And now with all the social media, you know, like you got the TikTok and YouTube and everything else. It's like there's so many places that like you can still repeat it even like you know like put like have the same bit in every one of those things and yeah. a lot of different people are gonna watch it so it's like yeah. it, people are not gonna be like oh i saw that you know it gonna... is it is true that we have to retire routines have yeah to retire a routine you don't want to be telling it like a longer form story or something in front of a crowd like yeah you know it's like that old cliche of like musicians get to do it they get to do the hits you know and people can sing along it doesn't work that way for stand-up comedy. We can't do a routine and everybody goes, yeah, and then I shit in the bucket. Woo! Or whatever. Shit in the bucket. He <laughs> shit in the bucket. Hey, hey forget bucket. about this new thing about you being, you know, about your life and you're getting older and your muscles hurt. 
<laughs> go back to shit in the bucket, man. Yeah. You were 20. Well, yeah, you were funnier then when it was all about shitting in the bucket. Man, when you did colleges, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. By the way, thanks for the pointers. I'm Francisco <laughs> crushes it on TikTok, so I'm always like, hey, do you think this font on captions looks fat? And I'm like, this is the most <laughs> monotonous yeah. bullshit that I'm uh, bothering about. Yeah. Because, um, you know. That we, it's a new thing, man. It's like, yeah. it's, it's just, it's hard i mean it's hard even for you know everybody it's just like you know like it's because now it's uh, what i read i mean look at you watching the tiktok guy that is like the it's all about algorithm and then alg it's like a slot machine in vegas it's kind of like you just gotta hope like it just picks it up and then like yeah. right but it's also mm. like they it's they, also a time right is there a time of it's day a time it's like yeah time 15 seconds that was go like you gotta like use the music that is trending the stuff that is trending so you gotta use all these things so hopefully it catches like that wave yeah. and then it just goes, Yeah, you know, because, and it's also like once you get into like, if the TikTok, like you got like, for me, like one of my things I have got like a lot of views viral in TikTok has been stand up, just stand up. So whenever I try to do something that's not stand up, they are like, no, <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah, you want to, you do a little sketch? No, go do it. So it's kind of like. I feel like they yeah. also like picking Don't up. Don't give us variety. Is yeah, that what you mean? Yeah, They're yeah. like, Stick Don't. to your lane, bro. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but, that's really interesting because I'm always like, I want to do a little photo at the beach. No, no. I mean, I'm, like, not <laughs> saying, I, I'm not saying that you can, but for me, it's, it's weird because it's like, oh, no, and then when I, I put it, right, yeah. you know, so, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's I mean, you got to keep trying. I mean, it, at the end of the day, you just got to keep posting stuff and then yeah. hopefully one of them picks up. Yeah. And, if they tell me no on any anything else, I'll, I'll just consider that a favor, you know, like, right. all right, I'm not trying to do too much on TikTok. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just yeah. post my stand up clips then, I guess. And that's all there. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's like, you don't want to do a dance? No. You're going to be out there doing that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just won't be heartbroken if they don't <laughs> accept my dances. <laughs> if my dances don't go viral. Yeah. All right. Um, so, uh, uh, but I mean, at the end of the day, this is a a, a little traveling show. I mean, oh, it's wanna... not about dance. No, we can talk about that. But <laughs> so we want to start with this question. Thank okay. you for staying on topic. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, Joe Rogan and Spotify. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I'm kidding. Do you that. or do you not want to go to Texas? <laughs> talk about algorithms. Don't get <laughs> pick that up in a sec. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get your medical advice from talk show hosts. I think that's. I think we're all right. Talk radio. Yeah. yeah. Talk radio has never cured us of our elements. Yeah. yeah. I, I was just mentioning. You have to answer it actually. <laughs> you like? I man. think it is. Thanks, don't it, make it weird. It, it, <laughs> I think. I think it is. It is just so funny that that you know. Um, that we we uh we have so much time. It's so much time to worry about podcasts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What it's a luxury. A, it is a. It is luxurious. We've over validated what talk radio really is, which is all. It. it not. Not to demean. <laughs> what a podcast is, but it is. It's talk radio. We. It's just re, been relabeled. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's why I try to not, I try not to call our show a podcast. I call it a show because, mm. you know, I think yeah. it's, yeah, because, because if you, if you want, if you want to worry about what Joe Rogan is or is not discuss, he's spending his time on his show for his, you know, large viewership. Yeah. If you want to worry about that. I mean, if you want to compare it, it's definitely way better than anything Rush Limbaugh used to talk about. <laughs> like, Rush Limbaugh was just <laughs> racist hate. Yeah. E yeah. E every morning for four hours yeah, yeah. and then replay it at night. <laughs> and, and by the way, there's still, you know, I don't want to bash Rush Limbaugh. Um, he Did finally he die. Yeah, he finally got sober, but uh, <laughs> but then he passed away. Yeah, and say what uh, you want about Rush Limbaugh, but uh, <laughs> lung cancer deserved better. But <laughs> but they're replaying. They're just playing Rush Limbaugh replays. If oh, you, really? If you were, I mean, if you drive, I always tell people, and like, nobody's complaining. No, nobody's. They don't. Doesn't matter. They're, it's not current. It's not current events. It's just. It's oh, literally. Wow play the racist hits like <laughs> it, it's just racist hits and i mean that's when people are like oh god you know people want you know complain about fox news or about it's just like dude dude you want to know wh why you want to know where some real you want to hear some shit you don't want to hear drive <laughs> drive through a mountain state put on am radio yeah. <laughs> you can see you can hear some shit that is not gonna <laughs> that joe rogan's not gonna put on his podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
You know, like like. Uh, I'm gonna guess all three of us were through the Howard Stern era as well. We saw the movies. We saw the empowerment of the. What was it they used to say on the Howard Stern uh, in the biography or whatever? They said that half the people tune in to hear what he says next, and half the people tune in to hear what he says next. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, they hate him. Like who has more? Like so the viewers, you have more just, viewers that hate you than like you. Yeah, so they're just repeating. Listeners. These people are just repeating the cycle, freaking out by yeah. stuff that, you know, the great thing about any kind of these mediums is that you get to curate your own list. So I don't know how you're curating exactly what you uh, don't want to hear. Yeah. No. Oh, well. Uh. Well, I was just. Uh, I'm glad that we thought I was just joking about it. But you guys went in. <laughs> you did it. You, you did, did it. You put your toes in. You put your toes in. There's no joking here, dude. Yeah. This is a podcast. <laughs> yeah. This is where this is where this is the marketplace of ideas. <laughs> yeah. And now what's that? Oh, we're canceled. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit. Well, wow. Nate, thanks for I coming in. I didn't even in, say man. the N word yet. <laughs> uh, you were going for the 20 minute mark, and now <laughs> uh, the so you were born in Madison, and then. Uh, did you so when did you first start thinking about doing stand up or thinking about moving to uh, or did you start doing it in Madison? I did start doing it. I grew up there um, and then uh, was in college. Started doing it in college because I was you always went to a, you know, in, in over there, Wisconsin. Yeah, oh, uh, you never of Wisconsin. Yeah, which one? There's a lot Madison. of campuses. Madison. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, was it uh, was it cooking away in your in your soul already, or was it a dare? Was it some? Was there a stand up comedy night and they're like, give it was a it shot, because you were it? listening to Rush Limbo and no, you were like, uh, hey, no dare. I, you could probably blame somebody for telling me they thought I was funny, but uh, yeah, right. I was just always a fan. I was like, I mean, it was like, I mean, anybody within like three generations, it was it's it's Eddie Murphy's fault. Yes, <laughs> Eddie Murphy yeah. delirious entirely. So, yeah, yeah, just like. Uh, just uh, my f my name is Eddie Murphy, not a professor. Oh, <laughs> wow! That, that explains, explains a lot. That explains a lot. That explains why you why you keep trying to drift out of your lane on TikTok. <laughs> I did too many. I did too many characters. Man. That's why you came in here in the fat suit last week. <laughs> I was wondering why. <laughs> But uh, so you started in college. Started in college, and then went to Chicago. I was in Chicago oh, for about eight years. So that was your first like move to go to oh, to, yeah. to pursue comedy yep. was Chicago. Yeah. Well, it's actually it's like one hour. Like wasn't that far? Yeah, it's close enough. Close yeah. enough. Oh, and, I'm and dying it. to know though. What's the what was the college like? What was the situation? Was it an open micy pub night, or did you have? Because I didn't have stand up comedy at my university. Yeah. Um, so I didn't have. There was a comedy club downtown. It's called the Funny Business, and it was like. Why do comedy clubs always have like those like weird like names like yeah. that, that are not like that funny? You know what I mean? Like yeah, like the like, funny, but you know, like I think they got chuckles. It. Yeah, you know. Well, anyway, so. I yeah. think the comedy store crushed it, didn't they? Comedy store got in there with the most that iconic. That was I think that the most like and then, original. I think. Yeah. Comedy store. Everybody's, but, what uh, else we can go with a shop or a. <laughs> yeah. uh, Factory. So, sorry, I cut you off. You started at the funny business. Funny business, and then it was just an open mic. Wednesday open mics, and then they had like you know. Oh, so it wasn't co a college show. It, it was, wasn't even a college was, show. There uh, wasn't okay. even. It was not even. I mean, not to date myself, but it was comedy was not big yet. There was yeah. the boom didn't. It wasn't gonna hit for another. Yeah, know, five I, wait, years. did you start in the sixties? I mean, it was. No, it was no, no. Well, I'm it, from being from Nova Scotia. Ninety nine. I I did start ninety nine, and there was a gap. Oh, there was that gap. That's true. There was that gap. It was around in the eighties, right? yes. and then it died oh, yeah. in like the nineties. Died in the nineties, and then 90s. it kind of came back in the late two. Yeah, because I did hear. I do hear here from people that because I used to work here at the comedy store, but like people told. I mean, when I work here, when I started working here, nobody would come here. It nobody was, like, was coming here for. But they even told me like. Even like early two thousands, like it was even worse. So yeah. it's like what you're saying, like ninety nine, early two thousands, like nobody. Yeah, long enough for that. It's impressive that the store made it through that. Mm -hmm. I think you know, considering yeah. where it is, yeah. you know, like yeah. like uh, there was no. I was. I would say that on the open mic, the Wednesday nights when I started in college, I would say that over half the people almost every week weren't even students right you know and that's in a pretty big college town yeah that it's like kind of hard not hard to get there but like it's you know the campus is right on the it's the, in between two lakes so you got to come like you got to like f f get into madison yeah and like i mean that's just not how it is now like if you're in a college town with an open mic it's 90 percent students mm -hmm. if you you know right if some like some like some old dude tries to come and and do 
God knows what material. Yeah, they'd be like, gonna, who are you? They're going to blackball him, and he's not going <laughs> to yeah, get on the list yeah. ever. Like, it's <laughs> not going to happen. Um, but so, you know, and then and then once I got to Chicago, Chicago was still pretty dead, yeah. too. There was, like, a handful of shows in one club. Now there's, like, seven clubs and shows in every loft. Like, it's stand-up right. blew the fuck up. Yeah. And it didn't really hit until – I remember – there was a open mic at the Lions Den, which still like a lot of people who came through Chicago, you know, always try to brag about it because it was pretty awesome. Like, I mean, that's where you know, like uh, Hannibal, Pete Holmes, Kumail, Kyle, uh, Bronger, you know, everybody that I came up with out of Chicago would go up there every Monday night. It was the spot. And when I first got to Chicago, it was eleven comics two audience members and two magicians right uh-huh. and, and it was not it and then all and of the sudden, magicians look down on you yeah the magicians <laughs> like, are like what uh, stand like, up comedy yeah like i i get like you're gonna give me 10 minutes right i yeah. got i have a hat to pull things out of <laughs> like uh and then i so so much so that i kind of stopped going to mm-hmm. the lion's den like it or not like going religiously and then all of a sudden like a couple of new guys were in town and i met them and, you know they were like are you gonna are you going to be at the, the lion's, lion's den? And yeah. I was like, the lion's den, like, like, I mean, that sure, place, yeah. sure. Fine. Yeah. And they were like, no, that's it. And then sure. And then sure enough for about a five year run, it was the hottest take in dude, town. Dude, there was like, it was like 75 person lists. Wow. It was like, Oh yeah. Ma- monster. Like, wow. I don't know of anyone that it was, I don't know of anyone that was ever bigger. Honestly, it was yeah. like, I'm legit. Like it would go from, it would start at eight and it would, the bar, it would go to the close and it was however many people, you and know, and you would you get real people like real audience members to come? Oh yeah, oh it was mad. It was like, like a show. Any yeah, I mean it was the kind of thing where if there was like, I mean it's Chicago, so people come out all the time. They're kind of trained, you know. They go see sketch, they go see improv, they go see theater, they go see stand up. So like people would come out to support their friends, or after a while, it just became a kind of place to come see. You know, it was just a. It was you couldn't, you could not. Not you, you could not hear about it. Chicago is bigger than that. I mean, there's tons of stuff in Chicago. But if you were at all anywhere near the stand-up scene, like you, you know, knew that was you the, knew that was that the was spot. it. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like here what I remember. Like people. Carlin stopped by one time. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That was yeah, pretty, I think that was... it's like when people say here when like Jay Davis would run that show at the some where I forget the name, but like it was like that was like the hot place. You know, like where when Dane Cook started getting like oh the one down on Hollywood Boulevard yeah. I oh, forget I the name mean. of the thing, but she I think the fire it's, pits outside. So. Yeah, the, no, 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 not that one. I'm talking about even before I started doing oh, comedy. Right. Like, like that was like early on. Like that was like the place to go. It wasn't like an open mic, but it was the show yeah. to go. And it was I've like, heard of this. I can't. I, I forget the name of the place. Mm-hmm. It was like here on Sunset, but like it's kind of like that. Like, Saddle like, Ranch or something. Yeah. Yeah. By the, the way, there was a show at the Saddle Ranch when I was biking, uh, really? biking up here. There yeah, was like were, a show happening. Comedy? There. I, uh, well, I, Barstool was doing a podcast there. Oh. Oh, is God, that what's exactly. going on? Yep. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Five bros taking turns saying not a motherfucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you'll stumble into on Sunset Boulevard, Ben. <laughs> All right, so... Um, yeah, the boys from Barstools are trying to fuck the wait staff. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a show. Uh, uh, so Today I, I, on I, Fuck the Wait Staff. <laughs> I take it you're not a big Barstool fan. I mean, whatever. Yeah. Well, so how did that even Barstool start? I didn't even know. How, is, is, uh, was that a podcast and it became like a channel? Cause now it's like well, and then they right? started giving out health advice, oh. <laughs> and, and uh, yeah, same yeah. path Joe Rogan's on. Yeah. Health and, uh, advice, opinions on unionization, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. off you go. Yeah. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Chatting about travel. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of traveling, <laughs> medical misinformation and union bashing, and sooner or later you're a truth teller. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of traveling, uh, um, Russia Ukraine situation. What are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I just canceled a flight to Ukraine. Uh, <laughs> oh. I was, uh, uh, Crimea, Crimea. I was, yeah, I was, I was so excited to do. You know, you can go direct. You got to stop by uh, Minneapolis and then go. To yeah, you got You can't go. It is, it's that, that MSP is really connected to the world. <laughs> the, the gateway to the world, they call it. The Twin Cities. Um, Have you ever been to Russia? Or no, it? never been to Russia. Um, would love to go. Would love to go. Um, 
as long as they're not running from the government. Yeah, <laughs> give it time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's probably not the best time. Not the best time. My buddy was shooting in Ukraine like last month. I was like, hey, guy. Like uh, filming? Yeah, he was filming something. Wow. He's, uh, Maybe he, you should get, he, get at it. I know. I was like, yeah. bro, he's back now. <laughs> oh, okay, I was good, like, yeah. uh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey. Now that I, this is the first time I'm living in the country that's sending out warnings going, hey, maybe if you're a citizen of this country, you know, because having lived, well, being Canadian, well, I guess we have to be ushered out sometimes. But, yeah. But, uh, and living in Britain for a while, I've never really sensed it but i really sense the urgency living in america when uh, when they go hey maybe if you're american and you're in the uk right now uh, maybe get out yeah bounce uh, have yeah, you lived internationally go. never never but you travel obviously a lot internationally yeah or, or mostly in the u.s i'm mostly in the u.s i mean i um i've i've only ever um i've only ever gigged north america really i've never been to australia or new zealand or the uk um and I'd like to, NateCraig.com, uh, <laughs> but... Um, but would you... Yeah, so you haven't that much... I, love, uh, I mean, I love Canada. Yeah. I love me some Canada. We're all going to go to Edinburgh, right, boys? Yeah. That's what we're saying. Yeah, that'd be let's, great. Let's hit up, let's hit up the Edinburgh. So Stand by. <laughs> JJ and Francisco. <laughs> and Nate. <laughs> it's a, the new song. It's a B-side on Nate's new album. <laughs> and, uh, do you... Uh, as a traveler, are you like... Uh, what type of traveler are you? Like, are you like a guy that wants just to be comfortable or just kind of get there or like i gotta have a window seat all right i gotta have a window seat if it's if i have a connector i will are you a status guy do you like the status i like the status i'm a status guy he doesn't give a I'm, shit i, don't give a shit I like status. the status i'm pretty loyal to not loyal but i i like to just accumulate points i like right. to consolidate miles, my yeah. miles so yeah. i mean i can get most places with Southwest and Delta. Right. Um, and can I say, I, I, I realized that uh, this Christmas when I was home, that the other reason why I might not like status is because uh, the boys I tour with, they love Delta, which Delta is nice, uh, but Delta doesn't do Canada. They don't. So, don't, no, it's really, you're looking at, Amer oh. like WestJet is affiliated WestJet. with uh, yeah. United. Yeah. So WestJet's United and stuff. So I'm all over the shop anyway, so maybe that's kind of bred, it's not contempt, that I have, but it's just spread. I don't care about status because I'm yeah. like I seem to have to take a different um, airline everywhere yeah, anyway. I'm a status guy. Too. I like I like having the my choice of seat. Like going early, you know. Yeah. I like feeling better than other people. You go in that oh. little <laughs> that, that, that buffet yeah. place. Who doesn't? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah like the, the little the lounge. Delta lounge. Yeah, I like the sure, lounge. Sure. The lounge is nice. Yeah. The lounge is nice. Yeah, you the get free coffee, club. free yeah, stuff, man. Is it though? Yeah. It's it strikes nice. me as the place that'll give you the shits for your flight. No, no, no it's pretty no, nice. No, I mean, no. I have had a, when I've been in there, I've had a couple beer. There yeah, you go. You get beers, beer, you get wine. But I walk, but I walk across, walk past that um, smorgasbord of food or whatever, and I don't know if I'm entirely trusting of the yeah, prawn yeah. cocktails and yeah. Well, I mean, you, you know, you are taking your life into your own hands anytime <laughs> you eat at the airport. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But. Uh, but you know, if uh, if it's coming with the, your your medallion status, I mean, sh I'll take. Yeah, that's that's a risk I will take. <laughs> of course, to celebrate that it sweet sweet re reward. Yes. Of it's kind of <laughs> like that that movie with uh, George, uh, George Clooney. Yeah, up in the air. When up he gets the, the 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 one million thing and. You realize nothing, what they <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Yeah, what, what do they bring him like a pen with like his a name pen on it? Is yeah. like, and that's it. He's like, oh, this <laughs> <Right>. is it. <laughs> that, which is pretty much like I think like a very metaphor of like maybe the industry of like that we are in is kind of like, hey, you got it. And you're like, yeah. oh, am I supposed to feel better? This isn't for you. <laughs> this is not. By the way, this isn't for you. <laughs> this is for us. <laughs> yeah. And, and and in the road when you tra when being on the road or just traveling, what's like the craziest store thing that has happened to you when you've been tr on the road? Like, on the road, ah, uh, like traveling. Uh, you know? I would have to think about it. I mean, I had a guy almost try to, almost, I was almost ready to fight this dude on a plane once. He told me I couldn't, wow. I couldn't put because my seat back. Oh. He told me I couldn't put my seat back, and I was like, pre masks. This was pre-mask. This was pre-mask. I was like, I was like, I'm absolutely put my seat back, bud. I like put my seat back, and he like <laughs> like he that like, recline. Like, couldn't you? He didn't want you to recline. He didn't want me to recline. Was he a big guy? No. Oh no, he was just a you... crotchety old dickhead. <laughs> and, and he was <laughs> like, of, he was like, kind of weird. He privileges that. This to... is what he said. I swear to God, this is the line he said. He said, nobody else is doing it. Oh man, what? I would have been like, everybody's doing. I was like, it. everybody's doing. Everybody it. does it. Yeah. I was like, I paid a lot for this seat. I'm putting my seat back. <laughs> was it's, this like first class? It's two class? inches. 
No, it was like it was a Southwest flight. It was like oh, okay. t- it was towards the front of the plane. I was on the aisle. Yeah, and like I was just like, you know, he he didn't he didn't do. I can't even tell what, how he would think he's justified to. Yeah, I, uh, I, it was really baffling to me. And he, you know, I was he didn't you know start like you know bumping the seat or anything dumb like that. You know, you see like you see those videos online of some you know some yeah. some asshole doing that to like a woman. You know, like it's like oh, okay, yeah. tell on the plane yeah tough guy with grandmas like <laughs> yeah. you know this guy wasn't doing that but after like i there was just something about him his energy like the way he was like he was really aggressive in his tone right. and i was just like i kind of want to wait for this guy <laughs> like and i was just like dude don't even think about getting sucked into that like that's yeah, just the yeah. most worthless but this was this was before people started losing their minds he was he was he was a he was a pioneer in the yeah. mind losing, <laughs> yeah. in the field of mind losing. But what happened what happened who who won i won i put my seat back uh, and then i walked yeah, away yeah. from him for the rest of my life until <laughs> until now uh, well, uh well, he, he took it out on the next person probably and Somebody's no. hopefully punched him in the face eventually. We I actually got, have him here. Bring him in. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got COVID in Detroit last year. Oh, okay. Which one? Uh, Delta? Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I I I got it here and didn't realize it, and then I I got sick in Detroit and I had to like cancel a week. I was at the uh, Comedy Castle. Oh no! Uh, did man. you have to make the phone calls? I like, did. Yeah. Well, I mean, I called the club, and then the club, you know, made the phone calls because um, I did do the Thursday show. Oh, you did. And were uh, you were, when you weren't feeling sick there? You were just. I no. Well, I mean, I had like a, but I had had like a couple colds that year where like I, I guess like like three or four times last year mm-hmm. not sick but like once sick and then like a couple other times I got a cold and I was like this is it for sure yeah. I got it for sure and yeah. it was negative 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 and I was just like vaccinated and I was you know I was like I, okay I'm yeah. this is I can't react like I have full blown AIDS every, every time <laughs> yeah. you know but then I, I got, after the show I woke up the next day and I was like something's not right yeah, and right. I went and tested myself, and I was like, "Oh fuck, uh, yeah. god damn it! This is the worst." I'm just like, you know, and like, you know, because you think about it, everybody you shook their hands last yeah, night, you yeah, know, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's what I can't wrap. I haven't had COVID yet since we've known. Wow, it's wow. Anyway. Was it was but, uh, Canadian healthcare yeah. Delta, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, I, I think I, I got Delta too. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad. But yeah, I can't wrap my I head got around Southwest, these, the yeah. phone calls that you have to make. Or that you, you can to... you can choose your own symptoms. Always about the, <laughs> always about the miles with you. How many miles? <laughs> you get for the southwest variant <laughs> you, get a, you, get a free, group you get a free round trip to walgreens <laughs> um yeah well, that's yeah, impressive so that's yeah, impressive you haven't got it yet is, is, it, that, is it i think so I, you're you're the minority if you didn't as far get it now you're not gonna it's not you're like i mean you might get it but like i mean it's I'm, like whatever i mean i'm yeah nobody's I'm gonna more, care yeah, nobody's gonna care about it. <laughs> that's right I'm, I'm gonna get it when it's not trendy yeah anymore classic jay yeah, yeah, yeah. always doing You're it like, hey guys i got of fashion. like pff, but i'm more we have a new uh, I'm more impressed like now. your fiance didn't catch it and you guys were in the same apartment and, no, but and we then were, also but she came when she came back uh, I already was like over five days, so I I don't think that's why I, I still was... find that very impressive. That's in your apartment. You were sick in that apartment. Yeah, but it doesn't and... stay like forever. I mean, it's not like no. just like being. It's not a roommate. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think it lives too too uh, too long on stuff. And and no, if, you, and if it... you're not symptomatic anymore, then then I uh, think that's what it was because my, yeah. uh, my 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 and was she was vaccinated? Out. She was yeah, vaccinated. she's back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's that's that does everything. Yeah, that does a whole yeah, lot. Yeah. I think it's cool. Did that you your fia- your wife uh, didn't she get it? She didn't get. Well, I was. That's what I was saying. I was. I had to. I had to quarantine in Detroit. I had to get a. Oh. I had to get oh. a, a awful. So what? Did you become RoboCop? Dude, I was. I mean, I was Ro- RoboCop. But RoboCop eighties movie t- took takes place in Detroit, right? I've seen it. Well, I've seen. Far, I don't think anybody else viewers. has seen. <laughs> yeah, I don't think nobody got the reference. I was like, you know, nobody's Robo seen RoboCop. What? Murphy, Murphy, uh, number five, Robot, po- <laughs> Robot Cop. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, uh, I had to get a shitty room at a shitty Days in uh, and I just I was not the first person to quarantine in this Days in. Oh, really? Like, I'll say that. Like <laughs> that. Like that's that's something I was like, oh boy, because. Well, how long know, did you stay there? I was there until I tested negative, and then I was able to get on a plane. Uh, the airlines have been pretty cool since COVID. Like, you can call and be like, hey, you know, um, 
there's a problem and then they they would let me move my flight and then i did get to get nice. i did get to go work nah, okay. my next week because i had another week oh and, that's cool so it didn't like crush me but okay it, it still i had to you know it, i took a hit for the week that i had to cancel and then you know i wasn't yeah. gonna oh here's a fucked up thing so f- for the club they were like we'll just stay in the room until you know monday morning or whatever and and I was like, can I just stay here? He was like, well, let me talk to the. Oh yeah, because you went from Thursday to right Thursday to Sunday, and yeah. he was like, let me talk to the manager, whatever it was. It was a Hyatt. Oh, it wasn't a days in. No, I had to move because oh. the Hyatt corporate policy: if you test positive for COVID, you have to leave their hotels. Really? I they could, won't let you they quarantine. Won't let you quarantine in their hotels. I shit wow, you not. That's I shit up. you not, dude. And so, which what I the hell we're in the middle of a pandemic. I know. You I was can't, like, you can't just room. remove yourself from your responsibility in a yeah. pandemic. I understand and go, Not our hotel. I understand them taking care of their staff and everything, but I, I, I didn't feel right to me. I was like, well, so, well, so I'm going to go endanger another staff at another hotel. Like, <laughs> just take it for the team, Hyatt. Like, I'm already in your spot. <laughs> but I'm also, the they room don't room clean it anymore because now I don't know if you go every time we stay in a hotel. Now they go like. Sorry, we're not. Uh, sorry, we're not cleaning. We're not like doing room service because of the COVID stuff. Yeah. Which also now they're saving money on that, and then nobody's cleaning the rooms now. Well, um, so I it's mean, like not while you stay there. Not. Yeah, ugh. but when you leave, but again, it's not gonna linger. For, yeah, but you're not. You're not gonna. You're not rolling around in somebody else's panties. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't, you haven't seen me on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we talking about me? <laughs> Putting that request in. Um. Yeah, I. Uh, so you had to move to. I a had days to move in. to a days in, and uh, you know, at that point, I'm like, and why? All right, well, why I'm the not... days in? Do you choose that? It was cheap. It oh, was okay. cheap. Because was... you had to choose it. I chose it, right? I mean, I I was just like, like the hotel, the club wasn't paying for it. It was a difference between you know, two hundred bucks a night and and and, and 50, 50. fifty bucks a night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so <laughs> I was like, I know what I I'm just I was I just need a TV and a bed. And the days yeah. in, did they had a policy like it's like. Yeah, you can do whatever the fuck you yeah, want. Yeah, Dazen, Dazen, Dazen was like, Dazen was like, don't ask, don't tell. Yeah. Was like, you can walk in here. Dazen is like on fire, and we got a spot for you. Dazen is like, this, we we should porns here, you know? Right. Like, this is a cinder block. Yeah. <laughs> you, you you're going to sleep inside a cinder block. Chicken pox policy. By we way, got some other kids who need to catch it. Can we send them over to your room? By the way, that's Please your mind. slogan. Yeah. That's we slogan. only have the anthrax suite available. But, uh, yeah, no. So I I went there and then, was it those ones where like it's outside like 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 a motel or it had a little lobby? Uh there w- I did have a sliding door to the parking lot. Yeah, I I don't I hate those. The door in was the yeah I didn't like it. I hate those. Those are the worst because I was like anybody can just break in here. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean at least I have the safety of the lobby. It's usually like a motel. Yeah, yeah. those are the right. you know but yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was definitely a motel. It was oh, definitely wow. a. a uh, a motel. So basically, it was like you were like living like a like a short independent movie starring Nicolas Cage. Yeah, I was I was really roughing it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was roughing it. It was. Did, uh, and you stayed there for what four more days? I was there for yeah. So so got got there. I actually think I got there. Yeah, I checked out. I flew out Thursday. Flew out Thursday morning. I, I tested positive on Tuesday, and then was just like, well, you already I'm, had the days. I'm yeah. here. I'm uh, or tested negative on Tuesday. Tested, tested negative on Tuesday. Realized that when I first started feeling it, it was, you know, or the they, week before, yeah. way the week, way before I got to Detroit, and that you know, for whatever reason, I was an idiot, and it was, and then I, yeah, I flushed it out. I just found a juice spot. I found the, this one. I mean, this was the wildest thing about. About COVID, Did you was. say juice spot? Yeah, right. Juice spot. Okay, yeah. just What's get my just, vitamins. Just in case there wasn't something I was catching there. What's a just juice to, spot? Just to you know, just to get your get your vitamins. Try to right. flush it out. Not of a you. place where uh, the Jews are. Juice right. spot. Okay, good. You know, I, good. I, I went and kept an eye on the Jews, and then uh, every <laughs> yes, day I do. took a walk by the Jews. I won't shirk my responsibilities just, just, while just, I'm ill. What kind of know. days in was it? <laughs> so I, I I I got you know I t- I, I got I was able to kick it. Um, but I found there was this great Indian spot, and I, you know, I did lose my sense of taste and smell. Oh, you did? Oh. Yeah, I didn't do it. But there was, I was just like, I went three nights in a row. I got to the same Indian spot, Indian spot wow. and I was just like, bring it, make it hotter, bring it, make it and hotter. And nothing. Sh- I was shoveling 
the and you hot. couldn't taste it. And I know it was hot because you were like, <gasps> my you asshole could've... did not lose its uh... sense of taste, <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was a battle. But uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, I that was uh, that was so you I, lost a lot of weight. I felt like it. I felt like it really. Uh, I felt like that. You know, that was my. I was like, I'm just gonna fucking burn it out of me. I'm gonna, yeah. you know, and yeah. I, that's probably. Yeah, that's I, science. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. I have to admit, I have a little bit of that theory too because I, you know, drink drink whiskey every night, and I tell myself, this "Well, is this, what, is this is what is people what's helping me fight no, off but, any kind of flu." But a couple is, shots of whiskey, I got some ginger, and I'm like, "These are my home." Yeah, that's movies, bullshit. Man. That's like, <laughs> no, well, that's, no, no, I no. haven't caught it yet, have I? So my no, little but, gypsy remedy uh, is working. No, uh-huh. but you know why? Because that was like back in the Middle Ages; they didn't have fucking medicine, so. Yeah, get a shot of whiskey and a fucking chicken, and and then you're good. And it's like, Beaches. but now that that, that yeah. kept, you know, in generations, generations, and now people still use it. It's like, yeah, you oh, gotta drink whiskey and gin. It's like, yeah, but also take a medicine. You know, I mean, like yeah. the whiskey ain't gonna save you. Too. I heard a, I actually heard while well, we're talking about these old, uh, what are they, wives' tales or whatever the shit we call them. Uh, I heard a good wives one. My tales? Buddy, well, isn't that time tested medicinal remed- yeah. remedies? Yeah, it's not per- yeah. It's, it's but, persons. Did tales. you? I, I got a good one. My, uh, my spouse my, tales. My buddy Spou- Hammy. Partner. Partner. Do, 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 my buddy Hammy told me a good one the other day about uh, which goes back to World War. Two when uh, when uh, the Allies had radar and they didn't want it they didn't want the enemies knowing about radar and the the rumor or not a rumor but the tale that carrots helped your eyesight oh yeah that yeah. was by the military I didn't know did you, if you know knew this already no, so I the thought, military carrot, started though. that so that's why soldiers started saying it oh yeah we grew up on a lot of carrots and stuff to to not uh, let out the secret of radar and things oh, like that that was helping uh, so it's see bullshit the, about the carrot. So, Yes, it's complete oh. bullshit about carrots, but that's what the pilots and stuff were told to say, so that when the Nazis or whatever the the other the, what are they the al- the axis of evil or whatever f- found out those things, they st- thought it was carrots uh, and not this amazing radar that we were in possession of. And I thought that was fantastic was, to this he, day, because even my mom said to me when I was a kid, you know, eat your carrots; yeah. it's good for your eyesight. It's fucking bullshit. That was wow. And through all the whole pandemic, he was sticking carrots up his ass. <laughs> Wow. Yes. No. 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 Speaking of uh, speaking of Thanks, wives. No. <laughs> speaking of wives. What did the army say person? about that? <laughs> yeah. Do you? Yeah. I, but, he seems to be on a swivel. Well, <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> no, but uh, speaking of, he's shooting everywhere. He's, he's has shooting. anybody seen the gunnery sergeant? <laughs> uh, it's speaking of person's tales. Do you have any like? Uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, lucky charms or, 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 or are things. you, yeah, are, well, okay, are you a superstitious guy? I, I find this funny as Traveling comedians because we all person. have, because I, I, you know, we all have our little superstitions when we're on the road. You he might brings even have carrots. Lucky, you might even have lucky, like, clothes, shirts that you can gig in. I, I get superstitious about, um, things that I, and I, I will just, things that I think have worked for me in the past. Like actual, like I'm gonna tape a special. I'm about an hour and a, about an hour before I go on stage, I'm gonna eat a big, huge burrito. Really, a burrito? Yeah, a burrito, <laughs> or like uh, just because? Why a burrito? Because because uh, you did it last time and you had a great gig. I did. Well, I just think that a good. Um, I think that uh, like a, a a lot of starch. Uh, like carbs, sh- sugars, yeah, gets your brain going. Uh, Not two hours before, one hour before, right before. But, but don't you have to go to the bathroom with a big ass burrito? No, really? No, I'll be good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you said it like Batman. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, <laughs> I know how to hold my burritos. <laughs> 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 <You know? laughs> like, What's your secret, Batman? <laughs> I know how to hold my brain. <laughs> I got a really tight ass. <laughs> That's like a good Batman. It makes me move good. Why stage. does Batman always talk like that? Can't just Batman talk normal? Yeah. It's always like, hey, hey. like, yeah. it's so depressed. Was it Michael Keaton's? Uh, is it fault? part of it? Is it no, he started like, yeah, because the seventies one. He's like, hey, uh, yeah. Robin, you want to suck my dick? <laughs> <laughs> he, well, hey. you, you saw a very different Batman. <laughs> well, <I think laughs> but yeah, they were. Hey, just, Robin. Yeah, they, it wasn't until Keaton. Well, it was Keaton, though, right? And then Christian Bale took it to another level. Yeah, he Christian Bale really took it to this level. <laughs> yeah. Do you want? Yeah, yeah I wonder. I wonder what Pattinson's gonna do. 
I no, saw. It sounds. He did like, it too. It sounds like thing. he's got a bit of a. I saw that trailer. He's like, what a, I'm danger. You know. Like, it almost feels. <laughs> it, almost, like, it, like, it's, it almost feels like it's going darker. I'm danger. It's completely dark. It almost like, seems darker, it, and I didn't think you could get darker than Emo Bale's Batman. Batman. Emo Batman. There was actually articles today that came out that uh, Robert Pattinson has a warning. The Batman is a sad movie where Bruce Wayne is a weirdo. That was his quote huh. from that. Oh, because so, we always thought the Batman. guy who dressed up as a bat was just perfectly normal. Yeah, that's every Nothing Batman. Nothing Pattinson explaining his choices. <laughs> <laughs> Already. The Already movie's not even out yet. Already his choices. That's, oh, that's every that's Batman. dangerous. Look, I did a couple takes for every scene, okay? <laughs> it's the ones they chose were the ones that yeah. were a little bit morose. <laughs> yeah. All right? I have that gear. I'm Robert fucking Pattinson. If you don't like emo Batman, <laughs> maybe go ahead and rent... So does, when Batman's having sex, does he have that same voice? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think Batman fucks, dude. You don't think Batman fucks? Batman doesn't fuck. No, he's too Bruce sad. Wayne fucks. <laughs> okay. uh, <laughs> but if Bruce Wayne comes fucking. to the bedroom, Bruce Wayne is the superhero. <laughs> but if, if, if Bruce Say Wayne, hello, is the <laughs> I'm Bruce. <laughs> If Bruce Wayne, we're gonna fuck. It's like, what happened? What, what happened to the dark guy? I'm uh, fucking today. Did somebody well, throw up the bat signal? <laughs> if if Bruce Wayne is fucking though, if Bruce Wayne is fucking and she wants him to be the Batman, <laughs> does he do the voice? If Bruce Wayne is having sex, would he do the Batman voice? If requested, if you want, I guess. I mean, maybe the girl's like, look, I. I you know, it's like I just want I actually wanted to fuck the Batman. <laughs> it's like, can you do the voice? It's like, yeah. Ask and you shall <laughs> receive. <laughs> I already like this Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I like this Batman. Really? Yeah, why didn't they go on a camper? No, direction? wait, this is Bruce. It's <laughs> Oprah's Bruce. Batman, is what it yeah. is. <laughs> you get a superhero dick. <laughs> you get a superhero dick. <laughs> Uh, okay, so back to the burrito. <laughs> so we're it's oh, yeah. 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 oh yeah, superstitions. All right, uh, uh, maybe that's that that right there is so clearly, that's every that clearly is science based. Uh, <laughs> but that's just for <laughs> specials, not for like every set that you. Uh, do. If I just got a big set that I care about, I'll I'll uh, I'll make sure that I'm properly. Uh, I got a Stuffed I got a burrito. big stomach full of starch. What happened if you can find a burrito? What's what else you get? I don't know. I think I just I just uh, avoid. I just uh, chalk that up to. A wrap. You can pull it. I just, I just go ahead and, and, and do it. Rely on my natural born skills. <laughs> <laughs> you give a warning at the start of the set. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't find my burrito tonight, yeah. so I'm a, bur- uh, I'm a burrito. Yeah. So would that be when you get like really huge? Is that like it's like it's like in, 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 in your rider? It's like s- for some reason everybody asks like smoked salmon and. You know, and caviar. This guy oh, just yeah? gets like a burrito. <laughs> this, guy, this guy wants, this guy he wants, wants a burrito. Wants a rice and tater tot burrito. <laughs> <laughs> that um, sounds like the opposite of what you would want before performing, that's I before mean. doing I mean, that's a That's a little heavy, man. Yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, but hey, if I feel like you? if I go ahead and, and, you know, pack in a couple slices of pizza I, and go on stage, I don't know. I feel like I'm a little bit more, uh, uh, Clear headed, right? I, no, and I mean for me, like, do- if there's any doctors out there that want to <laughs> message me on at Nate Craig Live on Instagram or Nate at Nate at NateCraig dot com, please uh, feel free to tell me that I am full of shit. <laughs> and literally, uh, but like, uh, <laughs> no, that's my. Uh, I do that just when I'm about when I know I'm gonna drink a lot. Like I'll eat like like carbs, yeah. like pasta or yes. something. Like yes. if I know I'm going to like go to a wedding, I'm like, give me the full. When you need to perform. Exactly. But but perform. But I mean, I, I get it in a way because you're spending energy and stuff like that. You need to have. Yeah. So I get it too, you know. So that's your only thing that you do? Uh, let me think here. I mean, I have. No, I'm not like, I don't really like superstitions like about like clothes or anything. I just have yeah. like a limited amount of things that are fit to wear on stage. Uh, right. So I, I you're like a, you wear suits, right, or jackets? I like to. I like to. Yeah. If I if I like if I'm in Vegas, uh, I'll wear suits on the weekend, or if I'm taping something, I definitely like to wear a, a jacket or a suit or something. And then, uh, um, where did that come from? From like the '80s and stuff? I just think it's like I just think it's respecting the job, respecting the job, and respecting the crowd, and also looking good. I mean, suits look good, man. They're fun to wear. I, yeah, I, you know, I I don't have. T- Aside from weddings, I don't have any other time to wear suits. You know, weddings are, you know, going out with my 
with my my wife. Yeah. Uh, but uh, congrats, by the way. Thank you. You just got married, right? I, uh, well, I got married before, right before the pandemic. Nice. And how long uh, were you going out with your wife? We were probably dating a couple years at that nice. point. Because they do say that would that would have been the big test, being getting married and then having to go through a pandemic yeah. together. Like, That's what I've been saying. There goes date nights. Any mm. any any divorce that happened during the pandemic needed to happen. Any right, marriage true. that that started during the pandemic or relationship, end it, end it now. Yeah. Yeah. End it now. Well, I proposed to my girlfriend after the pandemic, like did last year. So yeah. it kind of like solidified the... The, the, well, what I was different. already knew was going to happen. You're but. different. You're a, you're a, you're a, you're a good person. And, yeah, she is too. Yeah. So I, 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 the reason I'm bringing it up is like, how can we help JJ find love? Oh, <laughs> that, that's wow. it. That's I funny. think JJ's all right. I'm all right. You're all right. Um, yeah, I've opted against love. I'm not. Uh, you don't want to get married. Uh, I'm not in any rush. I didn't know this was a thing. I maybe, didn't know maybe, I was about to get. Maybe to, Batman gives you advice. <laughs> I'm good. Drinking. <laughs> you look like you do very well for yourself. Yeah, I, do. I, I don't have any. I don't what have about any Bruce? Have you tried any dating apps? <laughs> I've got all the dating he, apps. Oh, and, uh, he's do, got. Do you, he's do you want to go over your profile? <laughs> he's got weird dating apps. What's it saying? I your got bio? weird dating apps. Wait, no, no, no. You got. You, you apply. We, you've done weird dating apps. Have you like, ever tried oh, being a multimillionaire? Like <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about that one where like that person like you pay them to find your love? Oh, that's true. That's that a weird true. one. That is true. I was he got well, Tinder swindle recruit- before Tinder swindle. I was recruited. Wow. Um, well, no, it's not. Uh, it's matchmakers. Match if you're on apps and stuff, then the matchmakers know and they'll reach out to you and oh, yeah. you know give us ten grand and we'll find you love. We'll find you love. No, I did not get give them ten grand. If that's what you're alluding, yeah. I don't know where he's, he's like you're plotting against me no, here, no, but no, I'm, no, like, I'm just asking. But once I once you turn them down, JJ, then you're it's in very their attractive that you have friends that care about you. <laughs> don't be don't be embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> so. Bruce, now Bruce, what Bruce has to say now. JJ, <laughs> JJ, let's buy some love. Sounds like you need a wingman. <laughs> <laughs> That's very Justin Martindale. Yeah, he's been, he's been, Martindale's been my wingman on the. That's on nice. A, on a few, yeah. a good for a few That's weekend, a great wingman. Weekend yeah. shows. That's a great wingman. He's yeah. a great wingman, but he likes to go to gay bars though. So yeah, it's kind of well, there's there's one thing. Well, that's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 you don't necessarily get both. You get an amazing yeah. wingman, yeah. but the, yeah. maybe the wrong environment. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I think you're the wingman in that so, situation. Yeah, I don't know yeah. where the wing stops <laughs> and the man began. <laughs> don't you worry, Jay. We'll find you, love. Now let's watch this man <laughs> dance. <laughs> <laughs> at, we're gonna find you love here at Pump. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find you something for sure. Uh, but uh, but that's cool. Congrats, man. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, uh, n- never been better. And it was a t- it was a test, but we. I mean, I I I think we we were we were passed. I mean, she she didn't stop working. She's a ICU nurse, so she, uh, so she kind of got busier. Working, yeah. And then you know, I just I just had to be the housewife I was born to be. Nice. Yeah. And uh, so you were cooking and cleaning. I was doing all that shit, and and it was fine. I mean, I was. <laughs> I, I <laughs> the way that you said it, I was doing all that shit. But anyways, it was fine. Uh, it was, <laughs> it was. You know, I mean, it sucked because we were all, you know, all our calendars went away and we were stuck inside for a year. It was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. Some some people kept working. I just, well, I felt like my audience was not coming out during a pandemic. Yeah, because right. yeah, of course. Uh, so did you do like the Zoom stuff? I tried, and then I was like, it, it didn't take many of them to be like. Oh, this is again. not stand up, yeah. Yeah, one thing that I realized with Zoom comedy was more like it was more like like a podcast. Like you I would treat it like a podcast yeah. because if I treat it like as a natural stand up, then I feel I would feel bad because you don't get that instant react yeah. you know, because of the There's nothing connection. there's nothing like turning your rhythm and timing into a monologue. Yeah. Know, and just delivering that. But you know what I but I did I did a few sh- those shows as well and I feel like I got something out of them, but I didn't get uh, a desire to do more. But I got enough material. Yeah, I guess they kept me writing. Yeah, it keeps right. Yeah, it was the only way that we could put that kind That's of pressure true. on yeah. ourselves over the over the time of the pandemic. And so. now they're doing the the the, the metaverse thing, comedy. I don't know if you've seen that, like where you oh, wear the really? Oculus thing, oh. and then you're like you're like an avatar, oh, and right. then you're like, I mean, you you do and you're performing with other avatars and stuff yeah. like that. Right. I did I did one show like that. I did uh, Animal Crossing, Jenny Yang show, which was fun. 
Um, was that like and an, it's an Animal Avatar? Crossing? You, Animal Crossing, the video game. Yeah. So she she built like a comedy club in Animal Crossing. Okay. And then you're the car- you're down you were in there was like a basement comedy club. That is this sounds very like the meta, meta it was, this is the it metaverse, was metaverse type bef- uh, without the you know the goggles. Got it. And right. uh you know that was different. Yeah. Um still kind of in my you know fell in the category of not live comedy. Mm-hmm. Um but I mean she would get like 500 people in there. Oh, wow. She would get like more. She got blown up. The New York Times blew her up. So like they she was getting like I think oh, wow. she might have even got thousands of people like nice. for shows depending on who was on the show. Right. Because everybody was so hungry to have something to do Just on to their do computer. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Instead of, yeah. Now I wonder if, is she still running that? or Because I'm wondering how it, how much of it goes away after when the, with the world slowly coming back. I don't see her promoting it anymore. I don't right. think, I think it went away a while ago. I think a lot of those did. Um, well, one yeah. thing I realized, I don't know if you guys think the same, it's like with like music and and comedy, you know, or like anything that's like live performance is like, it's very you. I don't think that's gonna go away because the whole point of live performance is to be there. Yeah, you know, to experience yeah. the concert and the pushing yeah. and the you yeah. know and the the bar. T- the, you know what I mean? Or you know, so like, I feel like it's very hard to like duplicate that. You know what I mean? Because even when I watch specials, you know, they're very you know some are very funny, but it's not as funny as when you were there. Yeah, you know, yeah. You, it's really hard to transfer that energy when you like. When everybody's in that same building and like you know, and then because yeah, you're watching, you're like, and you're gonna be like, huh, that's funny, huh? But when yeah. you're in the actual yeah. place, you're like, you're really laughing. You know it's I mean? literally yeah. an art form where you're frequently saying you had to be there, yeah, and you should want <laughs> to be there. And unfortunately, because that's the truth about stand up too. Yeah. Even sometimes when you watch stand up, you're like, oh, I know we know this because we know the feeling of being there, but mm-hmm. but we can see how it's sometimes a hard sell when people can't put themselves in the club and they're just watching it on TV and they go, I don't think I'd like this. Yeah, I don't think this is... You'd love it. You'd love it. You'd love to be there and like feel that, you know. Yeah, like when you watch, like when you, you know, you go up and have a great set and then you watch the tape. And you're like, oh, this is is not, like I don't know I had a better (laughs) set than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just... Oh yeah, sometimes your most mediocre sets look the best. On yeah. tape for for it's some true. reason. Like, it's Why true. Is this it is funny listening to that stuff, and you're like, "Oh, that set went way better than I thought it did." And then it's usually the same with, "Oh, that set didn't go as good as I thought it did." I guess it's it like, would, uh, it, it maybe the equivalent for people that are stand up is like if you tape yourself having sex, and then you <laughs> see yourself, you're like. I thought I was killing it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, you know, you really did have to be there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, uh, I guess it's just so one dimensional. That's why you got to give it to porn actors because they sell it. They sell the shit they out. They sell of the it. shit they out. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. <laughs> they know what you want. Yeah. Even if it. Even if it wrecks their insides, <laughs> they now, know. Now, how how would a, a, a Batman porn would go? He'd uh, he'd be he'd well he'd be a director. He's, oh, he'd, he'd be the director. Oh, he's a director. Yeah, he's a director. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, you, you guys are doing great out there. <laughs> <laughs> anybody, if anybody needs my help, just shine a flashlight at the wall. <laughs> the funny thing would be like the typical director's like, "Can you come here a second? <laughs> like, like, yeah. be like, all right. Uh, Great job, but uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> great job. Yeah, we gotta, you know, we gotta this take. Let's let's just go more, a little more, uh, you know, a little more power in there, you know. <laughs> yeah, I wanna, I wanna feel the full force of Gotham City. <laughs> you know, I need, I need to feel the infrastructure. I need to feel the, I need to feel the population base. <laughs> That's actually like good. Uh, director like uh, good imp- note no gr- good director impression because a lot of directors give you shit that you don't understand uh-huh. you're like they, they give you that advice and you're like what do you mean like just tell me what to do like <laughs> it's like well you, you know they give you all these metaphors I'm like just yes, say just tell me how to say the line man like that's all I did or tell me where to stand like <laughs> louder gonna, louder <laughs> slower yeah, yeah, yeah. slower yeah <laughs> it's like yeah you gotta you gotta pretend, you know. It's like just like like if the penguin just stole your child. It's like what the yeah. fuck? Are you the weight about? of the world is coming down on you. Show me the resentment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> Show me the resentment. Can I get for your... Bruce as a director? 
resent these men. They're... No, Bruce Wayne as a director. Oh. <laughs> Bruce Wayne is there for the <laughs> rap part. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> That's a wrap for Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, everybody. Which, by the way, uh, somebody get Lucy some ice. <laughs> Nicole Kidman got nominated for that, and Javier Bardem. Which I saw the movie. Did you see the movie? Which one? The Lucy one. Oh, she being got the for an Oscar. Uh, wow, wow! I did not see that, and good for mm-hmm. her. That's very impressive. Yeah, I mean, I guess her. I see her. Javier Bardem. I was like, I don't think he did enough to get nominated. Yeah. I think they definitely threw them in there just because he was Spanish. Huh. Um, I did not. I watched the only. Well, I I, I, I didn't actor, look at the I nominations. I didn't even look. Yeah, I didn't. I yeah, I'm not aware. I I oh, saw oh, the one movie I saw that got them. I got I saw the. What's it? Fight of the dog. What's it called? Oh, the oh. power of the dog. Power of the did dog. Did you see it? I liked it. It was great. That I was thought. great. Yeah, oh, yeah. That was great. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Have you seen it? I've not seen that one. I've seen King Richard. I Is thought, that good? I thought King Richard was very good. I thought Will. Do you think Smith. he's gonna finally win one? Yeah, yeah. You know how you watch those films and, and you're like, "There's that monologue. There's that monologue that they read in the script and they went, that's my that's Oscar the, monologue.' Uh, yeah. He's got like three of them. Oh, really? He's got three of these monologues in the movie, and I was like, oh, right. oh, okay. he's, he's "All crushing right, he's crushing it." I could see. I, I think he's gonna win. I think they're gonna finally give it to him. It's uh, yeah, I mean, it's the people that nominator it. is, it's uh, Benedict. He did uh, Denzel because of the you know the uh, the Macbeth. Macbeth. Uh, well, him I see that. and then uh, is that, what is where's Macbeth? Where's that Denzel Macbeth? Apple TV. Damn it! Yeah, it's the one thing I don't got. <laughs> I mean, uh, anybody you can ask anybody to yeah, give it to you. Yeah, give you the screen. No, you can actually. You yeah, yeah, I've got a. Oh, I, I got, got the I got a couple screeners. Oh, Which also, guys. why look they keep you guys say- up to date on your dues? <laughs> <laughs> also, I've why never they- once been up to date on my dues when <laughs> really? it's time for screeners. I'm always like, oh god, that's it's November top. <laughs> <laughs> But also, why do they stop sending the DVDs? Nobody uses the. I don't know what to do with these DVDs. Yeah, and DVDs do suck. I miss the. I like it when they sent you the scripts as well. They send you like the. Oh really? Yeah, and they don't do that anymore too. Now you just get digital links. Who's following digital links? Come on, give me, give me a hard copy, man. Yeah, I'll follow them. So links. yeah, I don't know why we we're supposed to put them in our PlayStation. Yeah, I don't I know. I don't know much. who does DVDs anymore. And I'm like, just send me the link so I can. The worst on. ones are the ones from Amazon and Netflix. Like we're already members. We've yeah, already, yeah, yeah. We've already got. You already know. Yeah. <laughs> if you're, if we're in the industry and you're not belong, you're not have Netflix or, like, then what do you do? Yeah. It's like you know, like I mean, you have to have at least that. For that, HBO. That always baffles me. There's, there's, I, I'm annoyed at when you meet people when they don't have a television and they're in our industry. I don't watch TV. I don't. Uh, yeah. I don't, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, all right. Bing, bing, you're not even in there. Yeah. That's yeah. like pull the carrot out of your ass. That's like somebody being yeah, fine as I mean, like I don't watch. Ass <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> like being a, uh, in the investment field, I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see the stock market. That's your fucking business. Yeah. yeah. I don't care about it. That's uh, just your job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I just like to judge people who do care about it, <laughs> while just also trying up. to work with and for them. <laughs> we did have, we did have. I, I don't, I don't mind saying this, but there was somebody at Comedy Central once who we had in our writers' room, and uh, one of the higher ups, and we were like, "What? What kind of comedy do you like?" And he literally went, "I don't like comedy." And he <laughs> and works, we're and like, he dude, works. yeah, he's like a huge executive. I mean, he's not at Comedy Central anymore, but uh, what, was, what did he say? He said, "Okay, so he goes, he goes." Uh, I don't like comedy. I'm like, dude, you're, you're like, you're a higher up in comedy center. He goes, oh, I really, I really like um, Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> and we were like, what the hell? <laughs> so you know who I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. Unreal. Yeah. So, and you know why his like, name was Batman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't enjoy comedy. I'm more of a Vanderpump Rules guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it all seems so formulaic and predictable. <laughs> <laughs> oh you man s- you've seen one show you've seen them all <laughs> show me a woman that cares about her life and isn't afraid to make enemies <laughs> this Batman's good I, we, Oscar season we got fucking Batman yeah. we got Robert Pattinson there we go uh, well we're almost done here uh, but we are we've uh, and we've uh, we're sure we still got you want to ask one last question? The last question that we always ask. Well, what else? There's, there must be something else on our list too before we get to the before we get to our big rap question. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, stay tuned for the last <laughs> question. Stand by, JJ and Francisco. Like, but you reside here now. You went from Chicago now to LA, and uh, 
Yeah, man. Um, you asked about status. And yeah, we got we got a lot of questions. All right. Well, in Nate, there. we always have we always have one final question that we ask of our guests uh, uh, before uh, we wrap the show, and it is: uh, Do you have one piece of travel advice that you love to hand to people, or what you know, mm. or hand on? Maybe it could have been given to you, but mm. also you could mm. have discovered it over here. A couple crossed my mind that I'm not prepared to make public. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, because you don't want to give away your secret. Yeah. What are you, bad wow. man? Is a secret <laughs> airline or something? <laughs> yeah, or uh, prices. Maybe prices. Maybe well, getting cheap prices. All right. Well, he, well you'll tell us. Well, if you join our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I will just say this. On Delta, oftentimes those connectors are not sold out. What do you mean? Um, connectors? Like oftentimes. Connecting tri- you, flights? You, you, you just be sure that when you're choosing seats, don't panic and lock yourself in to like the back of the plane just because you want a window seat or an aisle seat or something. If all they're giving you is steady middle seats all the way up to the front, there's a good chance that that's not a full flight. And if you do take one of those middle seats because it's the only option, you will have yourself the entire row or maybe two seats. So oh right! Do not panic when selecting seats. That would be my advice. Ah, okay, interesting. And do you go if you've if you've gotten one of these seats that you know that you don't really want in the end, mm-hmm. but you're hopeful that you'll get maybe a whole yes. Way. Do you also get there early to talk to somebody at the gate? Do you use that approach as well? Um, have the discussion. I of- that I always check in with the gate agent. Right. Even if it's even if it's uh, even if it's just just to let them know that I am someone on their flight because you never know like if you are there early enough and they and they need a seat and they you know they have the discretion to give you a thousand dollars if they want your seat that bad and like and like if they or if they're if they just want to if they got a the opportunity to bump somebody up to first class i always check in i'm just like just a flight to st louis is it on time thanks i'll see you soon and then i sit right in front of them and then if they need anything. And you stare at them. I stare mm. right at their boobs, <laughs> and especially if they're a burly man. And, uh, no, and then, and then uh, I don't know. I, it, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, you know. My dad always taught me uh, make friends with the janitors and the lunch ladies. They control everything in the building. Yeah, and, uh, and the advice. hotel, the people that, uh, the valet guys at the hotel. Yep. I just, I found that from the casino. <coughs> here, here I am. They, yeah, they can get you because otherwise you got to walk three buildings worth around <laughs> where where the c- civilians are walking. Yeah, but they can get you through the loading dock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fifteen yards to where you need to be. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> is that good advice? Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, oh man! Finally got yeah, he jinxed himself. Yeah, I know. Now he's where's your, where's your scratchy throat where's right your, at the I end. I still of haven't had it. Is that fancy? <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> we're, getting this, I'm getting, uh, we're just closing the show, and I'm starting to get a coughing fit. Oh man! Um, uh, that's that awesome. Great. That's um, so, like, uh, stand by. <laughs> Uh, and also, like, do you have any dates coming up that you know, people want to share? And also, oh. if you want to share, again, you mentioned your social media, but if you want to share it again. Yeah, um, NateCraig.com. Um, I will be at the Cosmopolitan with Bill Burr. Nice. March 18th, 19th. That's a good hotel. I will be at the Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase the following weekend. I believe that's March 25th, 26th. And then I'll be at Acme Comedy Company in Minneapolis Memorial Day weekend. Nice. And stay tuned. Follow me, Hype Man, on Twitter. Nate Craig Live on Instagram. I will be recording a special this spring. I don't know uh, what venue or what date yet, but I'm pretty sure we're going to do it in Chicago. So if you're in Chicago, um, nice. Are you going to do it at the holler. Lions Den? Not yeah. going to do it at the Lions Den, but uh, but definitely. Uh, but I'm definitely going to put 50, 50 people on the lineup. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Nice. Well, that's awesome. Congrats on all that. Uh, and guys, thank you again for watching and listening remember to subscribe follow us on instagram oh, there it is name uh follow us on youtube subscribe on youtube if you have any questions please send it to us and uh thank you yeah. guys. just my light <laughs> 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 see you later bye hello <laughs>